Hey, hey, quick shout out to three people, if you don't mind. One, Cornerstone Computers. They were kind enough to let us use their, their internet connection. Uh, they actually Hi, have, Mom. <laughs> have the most reliable. Uh, the second one is uh, Deb Thompson, an amazing fan of yours, Alex. You have no idea what a huge fan she is of yours uh, down in southern Tennessee and a big fan of the uh, big fan of the uh, campaign. And also uh, Keith Ray, another huge fan of yours. He, he is trying so hard to figure out a way to get you here on one of the local stations. He's always lobbying to get that done. Well, it's been so. happening. We're on like six or seven now in Tennessee, most of the major cities. Now, now let's shift gears. What would you do about the death trains Obama clearly trying to bankrupt things to bring in total socialism, bankrupt the states, Obamacare, shut down the power plants, all these wars, funding Al-Qaeda, ISIS, opening the borders up. I mean, this is treason. The Border Patrol paying to give the illegals vouchers to ship them into the country. You get here, and the Border Patrol basically changes your baby's diaper, it, it heats the milk, and then it ships them deeper into the country. I mean, what would you do as a congressman? You know, it's interesting. Uh, my opponent is constantly telling people that he's against amnesty, yet he voted for the DREAM Act uh, in 2010, which, uh, for those of your listeners don't know, um, it provides the children of illegal immigrants with all sorts of benefits, and, uh, um, and that makes uh, the U.S. kind of a magnet for that sort of thing. But I, I have two ways of looking at immigration. Number one, there's the issue of controlling our own borders. That's a national security issue, one of the few uh, just powers uh, that can be authorized by the United, or excuse me, used by the United States. And that is, uh, I think it's fascinating. We, we have troops patrolling the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, but our borders are effectively wide open. So I think the border has to be addressed first, border security, not just for immigration. Sure, sure. But what I'm saying is security. you ought to call for the impeachment of Obama. Folks need red meat, and that's reality. People should be being arrested. The president is saying, come up here, and when they get here, the Border Patrol secretly is sh paying to ship them deeper and just turn them loose. They're not even holding them. We have them. They are definitely telling them to come to be voters. It, it, they're caught. The, the Obama can be destroyed right now. Yeah, and then, and then the second part of that is once we've secured the borders, um, if we eliminate the welfare state, we stop making it a magnet for, for illegal immigrants. Well, Steve, imagine if you had an Obama phone right now, it would work better than the one you've got. <laughs> you know what's funny? He gave us a phone. He do more. <laughs> I heard a comedian say one time, if you elect Obama, cell phone coverage would get better. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I remember them saying, no, I know how Tennessee is, even a lot of the cities and stuff. It's very rural, big mountains, not a lot of internet, really bad cell phone. Very beautiful state, though. And you got plenty of firework uh, resellers uh, as shops and plenty of liquor stores. <laughs> you know, uh, moonshine's legal here now. It's a, we've always had it, but they just made it official. So it's a, it's a great place to live. And, and I really believe, I, I'm not just saying this, I really believe I get to campaign in the prettiest district in the state. It's the largest in terms of square miles. It's a big plaza. Well, you got great barbecue, T Tennessee barbecue, Memphis barbecue. I love Texas barbecue, but my mouth started watering when I thought about some of that Memphis barbecue. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I miss my Texas barbecue, but uh, at least we have some Memphis-style barbecue to, to kind of replace it. So, yeah, it's a great place to live. Well, I know why Memphis is the number one fattest city in the U.S. So knocking out San Antonio. I'd weigh 900 pounds if they had barbecue like that around here. <laughs> you know, you can't you can see in the video, I lost 42 pounds about a couple years ago. I just started eating clean, eating right. I didn't eat less. Took up boxing. I love it. Got a passion for it. I wish I could do it a lot more. Campaigning keeps me out of the gym, unfortunately. But so far, I haven't gained a bunch of weight, so that's good news, too. We're going to come back and take some phone calls, and I'm going to string a piece of string up to Tennessee so we can talk to Steve clearly. Steve, your punishment for having a bad phone today is that you have to fly down to Austin, Texas, and be in studio and talk about issues with us. I'll do it. Absolutely. That's your punishment. Um, look, I... I'm serious. We wonder why the Republican leadership isn't going for impeachment now. They've got it on this border thing. Obama's been caught. They've ordered them to ship the illegals in. We've got ICE people saying they've been given the orders. It's, it's a nationwide. It's treason. And you need to run on that because people want hardcore. I know the political advisors will say, you know, just... Point out that foreign governments, you know, have us controlling their borders, and Iraq has better border security than we have in Afghanistan, and you know, the, and we need to, you know, that's one thing the Fed should be taking care of. 
We know that, brother. The point is, is that Obama, instead of doing his duty, has lowered the drawbridge and is inviting people in and saying free tickets and free welfare if you can get here. It is an act of war against this country, brother. I mean, literally. I, I mean, so would you join Congress, former Congressman Barr when he gets back in? He says he's going to move for impeachment. Will you join Barr if you get in as a freshman con congressman to impeach this tyrant? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think there's plenty to go on. The, you know, the Republican Party is in a, in a weird position, and, and I want to remind your listeners that I'm running in a Republican primary, that the situation they, they, con they concern themselves with is, well, what happens if you try to impeach the first black president? But I think Who cares? I don't care if he was green or purple or white. I'm sick of him. Right. And that doesn't work. He's incredibly unpopular with all of his, uh, you know, you know, minionship. And, and listen, here's the deal. They say, oh, he's unpopular. Let's run against that. He's going to destroy the country before then. Two more years. Yeah. He'll so say, it, that can't be ignored anymore. He'll stay, you know, your new nickname with that phone's Aquaman. It sounds like you're calling us from 50 feet under the water. <laughs> stay there, sorry. Steve. No, I'm having fun with it. I love it. I'll, we'll be right back, folks. Stay with us. Your phone calls are coming up. We'll do some overdrive. Every business owner knows how tough it is to get financing for their business. Whether the cash is needed for expansion, repairs, or growth, when you need financing, you need a reliable source. Banks are happy to hold your deposits, but don't bother to ask them for a business loan. For 10 years, Merchant Capital Source has been helping small businesses just like yours get the money they need. If your business needs as much as $250,000, Merchant Capital Source can deliver in as little as three to five days, even if you have poor credit. If you been in business for six months and produce at least fifteen thousand dollars in monthly sales there's a good chance you'll qualify and talk about hassle free we don't need to see your tax returns financial statements or business plans rated a plus by the better business bureau join the thousands of business owners who've learned the secret of using merchant capital source to meet their capital needs log on to mccash.com right now for a free quote that's mccash.com or call 800-296-0772 that's 800-296-0772 800-296-0772 In the near future When you realize how fake it all is The football, the security basketball alert. Security alert This is Homeland Security Analysis, InfoWars Building independent media operations You let the worst people get controlled And tell us that we are the ones Responsible Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Buckley Hammond, my cousin that's been working with us as long as Steve Lane's been working with us, went over to the big and tall store. To Walmart didn't even have 6X. Target didn't have it. 42,000 pairs, 6X for the illegal aliens from south of Mexico that bus up on a train every day. To understand, folks, you could wear this. I could wear this as a onesie, okay? I could wear this as a leotard. I mean... I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh my God, we're being invaded by South American walruses. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The government is shipping in 42,000 people. That's <laughs> bigger than job of the Hunt. <laughs> this country is so screwed up, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it's reaching a proportion. If you're a radio listener, you can't see him. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, look at this! Oh, oh god. I don't think I've ever laughed this hard on air. Oh my god, I mean, it's so ridiculous. So, oh my god, excuse me. Oh my god. Steve Lane, we gotta go to some calls here, but have you heard about the sailing ship size underwear that Homeland Security is getting for the illegals? Uh, yeah, and that is probably the hardest I've heard you laugh on air. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was not a fake laugh, folks. I didn't mean to break down. They just walked in with these from the store. What do you make of that? I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, uh, you know, obviously we tuned in before I came on the air to just make sure we had some continuity, but... I was stunned. I've I've never heard of any such thing. It's it, it, almost nothing surprises me anymore, though. I mean, this is an. Oh, I love Obama. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I no, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, before I forget to you, one thing, I know you asked earlier. You know, we talked about the Brat campaign earlier, and, and you know we're doing a lot of similar things. You know, he only raised one hundred fifty thousand dollars, a little more than that actually. Um, you know, we're in the process of raising money too. The way he did it was getting a lot of folks to donate just a little bit. And so, you know, if, if folks have heard anything they did today that they've liked or seen anything they liked on the website, that sort of thing, I would be so appreciative if they could send five, ten, or even twenty-five bucks. It's easy to do. You go to the Facebook page. Click the donate button. Go to the the uh, website. Click the donate button. Um, you can even believe it or not, FEC allows you to send cash. You can send up to a hundred dollars in cash uh, to to our campaign PO box. They allow us to. They also allow giant trains of illegals wearing giant <laughs> underwear that an elephant could get into. Look at these underwear, though. This would be like a white matador cape. You ever heard of that? <laughs> Maybe they'll get some red ones next time. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, well, La Raza's like the Klan, so maybe they can start wearing these, like white sheets on their head. All right, that's enough. Uh, great point, Steve Lane. Let's go ahead. Uh, he appeared on radio show with a man wearing underwear on his head. Uh, it's your precious illegal aliens. It's, fun. it's racist if you're against me showing this CNN. Uh, let's talk to Mike in Louisiana. Mike, thanks for holding. Uh, go ahead. Yes, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, future Representative Lane, congratulations on your grandchild. Can't wait to see you in uh, office. I'm Thank currently uh, actively uh, uh, campaigning for Colonel Rob Manis here, who is a uh, libertarian-minded uh, in Louisiana. Uh, I am an activist artist uh, on the streets of New Orleans, and uh, Alex uh, I'm going to ask my representatives to send me some underwear. I, I desperately need some. Hey, that's uh, a protest. Call and demand that you be given free Greyhound tickets and underwear. Well, I'm going to no, mail you. them your soiled underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I'm out of control. I apologize. Great point, Mike. We're going to go into overdrive. Al, Brian, Chris, Al, and others. We're coming up. Infowars.com forward slash show for the free video feeds. Your station doesn't carry this next hour that's coming up. Nightly news tonight. You are 7 o'clock. I'm going to shoot some special stuff. Visit GCNlive.com today. You've got curtains in your bedroom off the one pair of these underwear. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply 
supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to 